what is up guys happy new year uh hope you guys had a great new year and uh i just wanted to make this video to talk about certain things that are going to change on this channel that being its content you see um there's this thing that's been going on for years now, and I knew about it, but I sort of ignored it despite being a YouTuber myself because I was small, so I guess it didn't apply to me, but I guess it does. Where um, YouTube wants channels to basically focus on one type of content, if that makes sense. If you don't, what they do is suppress your videos so you're not being promoted to other people. Um, they want you to stay with one type of content which I thought I was fine because if you check here all my videos are anime videos you know what I mean so it sort of is contained even though I do like talking about comic book shit here and there um yeah it's sort of difficult to branch out I was about to make a spider-man video and I still am I'm like I'm uploading that shit I don't give a fuck but I'm gonna have to double down on that so you see this right here this is a video this is a gameplay video these two are gameplay videos these are gonna have to go um, they're staying up, but this might be the last gameplay video you see on this channel right here. Um, I'm not making, I'm not uploading any more video game videos, unfortunately. Um, because YouTube just doesn't like it. This shit only got eight views. It only has eight views. I have 715 subscribers. I should be getting at least 100 views per video, considering that I'm not that big. And I think 100 views, that's asking for like a small amount, considering that I have 700. Yet, I can only hit 13 and 8. I hit 836 with this one. Um, so that that's what had me thinking. The fact that this one hit 69, which even though this is a low number, even this Ultra Instinct versus, versus Ultra Ego video did better than my usual videos. Because before that one, 15 views. 19, 15, 28. It's all, well, of course the Bleach one did good, but I'm not really doing numbers if that makes sense. In the Madara versus Aizen. So, look, what, let's check this out, though. So, my reactions only get, like, 13 views. Depending on what it is, a reaction could be anything, right? I was dragging my hero, so, of course, no one wants to see that shit. Uh, I knew that wasn't going to do good. <laughs> so, but let's see. DNF Duel, 8 views. Let's look at the gameplay videos. 15 views. This is a reaction, but it's a mobile game, so 19 views. Let's see... 23 views, still laughable. Smash, 36 views. Project L, 19. Brawlhalla, 23. So, you see what I mean? I'm not doing shit. And that's sort of a problem. My Doro video did fucking ass. 43 views. That's laughable. Gogeta vs. Khalifa, this isn't even a power scaling video, and this shit hit 176. So, something occurred to me. All of the videos that are doing good, they all have something in common. Now, even though this is a reaction video, this is a reaction to a versus battle. This did better than usual. It didn't do great, but it did better than usual. Another versus battle. Let's see. What else did great? Ble that's bleep. So, that's news. News I'm going to do. You know what I mean? Um, Another versus battle. 211. 39. I'm surprised my character videos aren't doing that well, but... I'm sure that'll change once my uh, versus battles start skyrocketing. Not even... Th actually, this sort of was a versus battle, even though it was pretty chill. 70. Still did better than usual. Interesting shit, if I do say so myself. Of course, we'll talk about Dragon Ball the Breakers. Yeah, yeah. You know. News shit is always going to be news. That's something I can always talk about. Inconsistencies. That was a versus battle. 81. Not bad. Uh, my reaction did, did even better. 320 fucking five. Holy shit. Um, so as I noticed this trend, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And then it occurred to me. I have to really check. So what I did was I clicked. It was on the newest. So when I click on the most popular videos, that's when my eyes opened up. This, this video only did good because of booty, all right? Um, yeah, th this, this ass. So, obviously, it's going to do better. 10, 10K for booty. What the fuck? 10K. Um, <laughs> it's, I just find it hilarious. So, um, and I don't want to be the type of YouTuber that just puts butts and tits in his thumbnails for views. I find that uh, desperate. I felt like that's, uh, it's not your content that's doing good. It's the cover. 
So I don't want to be that type of guy. I want my content to actually be good. So look at my next content. Uh, Netflix Saint Seiya show when they turned one of the male characters female. That's controversy. That's a rant. That's news. News and controversy. That does good. This is also news and controversy. This isn't news, but it's controversy. All right? Controversy, I mean. So let's see. One, two, we got news, we got controversy, and then we have power scaling versus battles. This is what people want to see. They want to see controversial shit. They want to see news, and they want to see versus battle. Look at this. Turles' new fucking form. Oh, wow. I guess my character analysis videos can do good sometimes. I didn't even realize this shit hit 3K. The fuck? Let's see. Fixing anime art. This is controversial. Power scaling. I guess you could say this is sort of... I didn't even think this video was going to do good. Holy shit. So people want to see me talk about controversial shit and power scaling. I'm glad my Baki video did good. I got another one coming soon. Um... Even my Saint Seiya video, my Saint Seiya says video popping up. Look at this, look at this, the Popeye one skyrocketed. Look how fucking high it got. So obviously, I know, I know what needs to be uploaded to the channel now. So what I'm saying is, there's a lot of content that I used to upload that you're not going to see anymore. You're most likely, oh shit. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're most likely not going to see video game videos anymore. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna upload any more gameplay to this channel because they, they never do good But the reason why I uploaded it was for filler because when I make content that shit takes long because I don't have an editor I'm a one-man army, so I got to record the shit I got to look for the video shit to put and then I got to edit it myself That's not gonna be done in one day obviously, right? Um, so most of these videos were meant for filler But at the same time, they're not helping my channel the filler videos have to be quality videos as well that's what I'm starting to realize. So I came to the conclusion that I'm not going to try to upload videos every single day because it's impossible. I've seen, gr I've, I see channels that do numbers that don't upload every day. For example, um, if we're talking about power scaling, channels like Seth the Programmer, Chuck, Clyde, they don't upload every day, yet they still do numbers. I was watching another channel called CJ, I forgot, I think CJ the Champ or whatever. Um, and he makes funny videos about anime commentary and shit like that summarizes it, but he does it in a funny way um, Very hilarious. This dude hasn't uploaded in months. This dude dropped the Baki video I want to say yesterday or the day before that shit popped off. I Think yes, YouTube wants consistency but I think Quality matters as well. The problem is if you're not doing if you're if I'm dropping quality, but it's not consistent how the fuck am I going to get noticed if YouTube might still suppress me? So, another thing I'm going to have to try to do is try to do more collaborations for more exposure. Because this system is designed in a way where if you don't do everything that they want you to do, you're fucked, right? But there's other ways around it. I think there's ways in doing collabs or crossovers, I guess, collabs, whatever. That's another way to, I want to say, make yourself known. And if you do collabs, if, I, if I'm doing collabs, right? Let's say I do a collab with a bigger YouTuber, and they come back and they see this shit. They see DNF dual gameplay and this shit. They're probably not going to want to stick around. You know what I mean? I'm, I've been thinking, and I'm saying, you know what? My content is kind of shit sometimes. It, it is, in my opinion. I think it's shit. I think... I don't think this Dragon Ball Super video is bad because, you know, it's Dragon Ball reactions, whatever. But I think the video game content is not doing good. It's shit. Obviously, it's shit. So I got to get rid of it. It's shit. Fine. So that's pretty much it. New year, new me. Um, I'm still going to stream video game content on Twitch. But I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. I have, a, I have an idea where I'm going to put all the gaming content. I already have a place for it. But that place is going to have to be rebranded. I have a gaming channel called Moon Killer. I'm going to have to rebrand that whole shit, so that's going to take a minute. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on this year. Gogeta vs. Cauliflower is coming out, and I have a Fist of the North Star video in the works, so look forward to that. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.